All right, so I told you in the last one that I'm putting in the overtime for you guys to bring you this content uh, as soon as possible. Yes, it is late for me, but you know what? I'm pushing through. I'm knuckling up and trying to get this done and out for you guys. And uh, to, in this video, we're going to be talking about this man right here, the magician, the man with many pockets, with cards in those pockets, decks of cards, and he needs them. All right, so... Um, okay, so thing is, I might not be able to. I might not be able to get this guy. I know I said in the last video that I was going to do Nightcrawler as well, but I realized that his gears are at 20. And I might not have the feathers. I might not have the feathers. I'll have to see if I can actually, you know, scrounge those up or not. But in, at the very least, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about this guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people are actually want to see Nightcrawler. So this might just be a, a video on the shorter side, um, talking about this man right here. All right, Wolverine0612 says, yup, very entertaining and loving how long they are, bro. It goes so fast, L-M-A-O. Have a great night, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, let me know if the videos actually go a little bit quicker than they actually, than, than how long they actually are. Let me know on that. All right, next up. Um, is from Sound God the Great. I want to thank you for all the uh, all the all your testing and things. It helps me out so much. It means a lot. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad. I'm glad that's helping you out. That seems to be the general consensus. Actually, I've had a lot of people message me on like on Discord and, and other places, telling me you know like like thanking me for doing the videos, telling me how much they're loving them and stuff like that. And, and that's, I mean, you know, I've I've said it and I'll say it again. That's given me a lot of the motivation to actually, you know, get down here and find the time to, to bring these videos to you. So, um, yeah, if, if if they seem to be helping you out, let, let me know how, how these are helping you out, guys. All right, next up. Okay, so this guy, um, Pat Thunder, IGM Pat, he wants me to... Um, he wants me to roast him. He wants me to give his cow a, a look up. Let's go. Let's let's check this out and see what we got going on. What the hell? P A T T O. Okay. Oh. All right, here we go. We're at Pat Thunder's account. Okay, so he's working on Thor or Null. Um, and that was that was Thor and Null combined there. Um, Thor. Ah. All right, and then he's working on Medusa, and, you know, uh, looks like he's close to Tier 3 and Thor as well. Okay, so let's take a look at his cards. Okay, he's got one card completely done, completely finished, and he's got blue all attack on this card here. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good roll, right? You got you got one of the attack stats, four quality. That's not, not too shabby, and it uh, should be pretty easy, right, to get that card all blue, right? I would just, I would lock those blue stars and just... And go all blue. I know it looks like you might lose a little bit of crit damage. Where are you working with 22.8? Um, but you know, once you start crafting like this card here, and that's a that's a good roll there. I, I would leave that. Um, you know, if you don't have many options with premium cards, it's not a bad roll. Where right? you got the energy attack as a fixed stat, and then you have all attack down there plus the max HP. Not too bad. Not too bad. And you know. I'm not going to look too deep into these cards because, you know, you're going to have to swap them out. But that, that's an excellent roll on that, that Gwenpool card right there. All right. Let's take a look at his um, at his uh, characters here. Okay. So he's got a um, crit rate uh, proc, 160 proc on, on Sentry. Not too shabby. Okay. So he's probably trying to use them for a little PvP, PvE action. And I mentioned this before. Sentry's like kind of one of those unicorn tunes where you could put like HP, um, um, you know, a Uru or Odin's Blessings on them. Um, along with um, attack Odin's blessings and use them like both PVE PVP. He's like kind of one of the, one of those guys. Um, all right, and then Odin, I like this. Um, I not too shabby. You got the rage on him. You got a rolled right. You got power of angry hog, silver surfer. We went over this. Um, you know, I, you know he might be more valuable for certain accounts than than others. Um, that's kind of what I'm gathering. So if you're pretty good, if you're pretty you know good with with your PVP, you know I, I would. Well, you know, I'd at least take take those Odin's blessings off them. At least the attack ones, like I've been mentioning, and same with same with um, same with Jean. I definitely would. You know, she's got a regen on. She's not doing any work in PVE for you. And those Odin's blessings, like you're better off just giving her HP, HP, and capping her dodge. I'm telling you right now. And we're gonna find out what what we're gonna do with Deadpool here. 
we're gonna get to that very very shortly see see what this man's working with okay now magneto he's not meta anymore right moonstone kind of took his place but you know there's been some changes with the with the cap um but yeah i don't think i think you you can go ahead and you can rip those odin bless, blessings off that guy all right good i'm glad to see no odin's blessings on captain america power of angry hawk with uh yeah give some of those to sharon rogers man take take some of those odin's blessings off and that, and then her as well right i mean black widow like she's not doing any real work for you man get those off of her and luna snow yeah like she was an easy cap and i actually just went in and and it's funny um i scored two two over two million more points before reset now i go i go in and two million less points in abx it's it's insane i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about that so yeah you, you know if you care about abx leave those on her i know i see you're building them up building them up and then this guy got the energy very nice very good if you can you know stack stack you know moon knight and beta ray build up with some odin's blessings um they'll do well for you now moonstone with rage um how, let me know how well she does with you because i i tested her before she got transcended and she did so much better with energy but now after i really haven't i didn't test her you know a after she got transcended and the only thing is is that her um her awakening skill reactivates the proc but i still have to imagine that she's still way better with with energy i still have to imagine that okay you still didn't get a valkyrie's uniform what are you doing man you got to grab that up um all right okay good stuff good stuff all right let's see who else we got on the docket here all right that, this is the last one here uh, okay, so this guy, I, I have to get this guy in the video. He's a sad time I got picked. My IG, IGN was checked. Um, we still love the con, well, still love the content. IGN's Kevin179. Yeah, he, he said his IGN was in there, but I didn't see it in, in the comment because he wanted me to, you know, roast his account. I just did not see it. All right, here we go. Kevin179. All right, let's see what he's got on his cards here. Okay, he's got all but one premium card. Let's see Let's see his uh, his uh, stats. Okay, he's 24% ignore defense. I mean, that's fine. You're probably, you're probably you know, doing all right with that. I honestly expected... Um, oh, okay, you got 43% um, all attack. And, I mean, you got some good attack stats. Your stats are looking pretty good. Maybe a little more attack speed. Low on the attack speed, my guy. And uh, not a bad roll. You got at least one of the attack stats. Here, I would definitely get, I'd, I'd get one of those, at least one of the attack stats on that. And here, okay. So, okay, the trade-off is like, if you get the physical attack, then you're kind of trading off for, for the proc. The proc is better, but at least you got the physical attack. I, I, I'd be able to, you know, live with that. And you got the all attack here. Not too bad. Not too, you know, you just got to replace that Loki card. Start crafting, right? I'd probably, I'd probably craft this card first. I'd probably craft either your cable card or your Luna card. I would I would try to get a better roll on this one here. At least one of the attack stats on the Black Panther card. All right, what do you got in this guy? Oof, you got Odin's blessings on, on Quicksilver with an obelisk. Man, rule of thumb. No Odin's blessings on a character that has um, an obelisk. I mean, there, there might be some some few exceptions, but yeah, no, no way. Don't do that. Do not do not do that. Okay, we're, we got we to gotta see what's going on with Deadpool. I'm anxious. I'm anxious to check Deadpool out. Okay, you got a pretty good build on this guy. Max HP, 200 proc. That probably works out really well, actually. All right. Okay, got a, got a pretty good build on Sharon Rogers. I like it. I like it. Okay, Star-Lord. Um, not sure if you really use him for anything. Okay, Luna Snow, you probably care some about ABX. Now that the cap's raised, things are going to get interesting. Destruction on Captain Marvel with the... With the um, with Odin's blessing. I'm seeing this a lot lately. Why? Don't do that. That's that's bad. I think that's bad. You know, if you care about ABX, you're gonna want to rage on her at least for now. At least we till till we get someone to replace her. She's got to be the longest standing character that's meta for her. You know, specific day for ABX, right? I'm pretty sure she is. Uh, but yeah, take those off her unless you're gonna give her a rage. Unless you plan to use her for ABX. Okay, judgment on Ghost Rider. I like that. Once you start getting more Pierce on your cards, that's gonna be very beneficial okay still working on on the two uh two bash brothers here all right energy on on um beta ray bill i'm loving that and mystique okay what do you got on her 160 crit damage proc not too shabby and this guy i you know get an energy on this guy he's gonna do some real work for you man and okay double crit damage 200 proc that probably actually works pretty good on her and him you know we we've been over this i would do sentry before silver surfer for sure 100 percent 
I, I would definitely do that. And let, we're going to see what's going on with Cable. Okay, you got those Odin Blessing. Might want to leave that on him. Might want to leave that on him. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's awaken him first and foremost. We got to awaken that potential. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like the I like the way his skills look. I like the way his skills look. I think they did a really good job with the animations there. All right, now we actually have to we have to rank this one up here. And okay, so we use so if we go max, we use 720 feathers and 180 M crown crystals. My goodness, I have a lot of the M crown crystals, but the feathers. I mean, if you look, um, I even got some from the store too. I even got some from the store to finish off all the uniforms. Um, you know, uh, cables, Deadpools. I'm kind of regretting uh, Deadpools at this point. Um, let's see if he's got some true value for PvP. But, all right, let's go ahead. Let's get this done here. Um, yeah, I would need some more Awakening Crystals as well. So, Nightcrawler might be coming, not in this video. That's what it looks like, but in in one very soon. Okay, and keep in mind, this guy, his build isn't, isn't the greatest right now. I mean, you know, look at the Uru's. Look at um, look at the ISO 8 set and look at he's got he's got a 200 proc ignore dodge proc so you know it's basically like an energy without the uh, without the chain hit because his crit damage is capped right I think he's got he's got something from yeah he's got uh, da, da, da. is it right here yeah crit damage increased by 30 percent on on his passive so very easy to cap that so it's basically an energy without the chain hit so this will be a good test for for some of you guys out there uh, good ind indicator. Um, you know, if you could use him with, with the proc obelisk or not. So now that this guy's fully awakened, let's take him into, let's take him into null. Uh, yeah, let, let's enhance this one more time, at least, at the very least. How many of these do we have? 407. Wow. Okay. All right. We get, get him to three. We get him to, yeah, I definitely don't want that. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, let's go into, let's go into world boss. Let's go into null. I mean, I could even take them into into call as well, but um, the, uh, all the other world bosses seem to be pretty easy for me at this point. All right, let's. Uh, where's our man Gambit? Is he all the way down here? No, no, no. Where are you, dude? Oh, I have to. Um, I have to finish the uh, the awakening process. Transcend. Yikes. Okay. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Man, they need to give us a way to trade the the gems for crystals, because as you can see right share that with the alliance as you can see i'm i'm like i that deficit is is crazy they need to give like you know if you finish like a squad battle first second or third they need to give you um some uh crystals they need to split that up even if they split it that that would be fine i'd be totally cool with that but you know it just you, you place higher and just grows that deficit even further it's kind of ridiculous all right let's go ahead okay where is my man gamp is he gonna be down here yes he is all right so let's um here we'll take odin off we have a little bit of a team up here, right? And it's the same lead, right? Ignore dodge by 50%. Now we have, we went from having one to having three overnight. Now I have no, um, I have no idea what this guy's rotation is going to be. No idea. Like I said, I'm trying to get this out to you guys. Um, just as a, as a first look, a sneak peek, but I will be do. I'll, I'll be putting the work in to develop, um, a rotation for this guy. Let's see if we can go like six cancel into five maybe whoa okay so he's got some pretty crazy burst damage all right so yeah we want to wait um actually you know what oh actually hang on you know what i have to do i'm sorry i have to at least check his skills i, I gotta i gotta check his skills and i gotta see what what, what kind of buffs he's got going on I, i'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit here all right so uh nothing really on there nothing really on there so his three has a guard hit, okay? So you could probably increase all attacks um, by 30% for 10 seconds. So you probably want to cancel the three right away. It's probably going to be like three cancel into the five. And then the six, um, you might want to six, so three, maybe three, six, five. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing that's probably what it's going to be. Let's see if we can cancel that six right away. Let's see if we go three, six, and then five. I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna be it. I'm thinking that's gonna be it. Um, or if we do, yeah, so if you do like three, five, six. We could do that. Let, let's see what works better. Let's go in and all, let's see what actually works better. Um, it's gonna be either three, five, six, 
or 3.65. But it looked like he had some pretty good damage. And, and th th that's a regular obelisk. I'll, uh, I'll throw... I'll throw an energy on him. He's 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 gonna be an energy guy, I'm I'm guessing. So three six will be three six five. And we proc down to five. Okay, not not too shabby. Um and then we probably then we wanna go three five. I mean that that that's pretty good. That that looks pretty good to me. Let's see how fast he can actually clear this. Yeah, and then you're just waiting for The, um, then you're just waiting for the, you know, three and the five to come off cooldown again. So, let's see if we do, like, if we do three, five, six. How's that going to work out for us? I think it was better three, six, five, right? That seemed to be better. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we got to wait this out. Um, he seems to be doing okay, though. It looks like fa faster than Cable with um but you know he's got the obelisk cable has the uh cable has the rage okay right you can move around with the fifth i i almost forgot about that okay let's wait for this six to come off cooldown so we're gonna go three six three six five yeah i don't i don't know i don't know uh, you know i'll have to test that and see what's actually bringing us more damage and then, yeah, you probably use skills in between. I hate on the obelisk that, you you know, it doesn't have the timer up there. It should have the timer. But he's he's pretty much like... Okay, I'm just getting pummeled here. Okay, so yeah, three. Yeah, he's, he's a little behind Cable. Like I said, Cable has a rage. This guy has a proc obelisk with a terrible build. He's got a terrible build. Um... Yeah, it's it's nothing nothing special at all, right? I think it was um, stage six, um, power of angry Hulk or whatever. All right, so let, let's do this. To go three, six, five. Okay, we got that proc there. Okay, so that brings him down to about you know middle of fifty-seven. Let's go into three, five, six. Right, because let's look at his skill. Because on the five, he's got some buffs there, right? Yeah, he's got the all attack. Um, all defense, crit rate, yada, yada, yada. Let's see how, how, okay, so, yeah, he's not even, I mean, l l look at this, right? He, um, and, I mean, I already showed you all this. I already showed you, yeah, it's, it's stage six power of Angry Hulk. Um, so, I think he's getting 100% ignore dodge, right? Because I have Agent Venom in there. He's got his leadership plus the, uh, it's like 32% on his obelisk. Okay, so let's go uh, three, five, six see where this brings him down to yeah i mean i'll try that again but it looks like three six five is better than three five six and then we'll, we'll have to figure out how to incorporate um the rest of his skills into his rotation right see what kind of works we'll do this again here and i know i got the proc on it because that timer is still up in the corner um okay so yeah let's go into three six five this time and if it's gonna do what it did the last time then okay oh yeah we're gonna go three six five yeah look how much i mean that's like over a over a bar over a bar right over a bar uh, additional damage doing three six five um okay so let's let, let's now now that we kind of know what's going on let's see how fast um but you, you could see he's not he's not too far behind he's not too far behind cable with with this build i just want i want to take him down you know um now that we kind of have a better grasp on his rotation okay that seemed to work out all right um not 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 the best but i mean he's got such an easy rotation right Hey, I'm gonna get snagged up. No chance. No? No? Okay. I'll take it. That's a win in my book. Okay, we got the proc on the five. That's good stuff. I, I, I could have waited for the for the six. I probably should have. But we'll we'll get it. We'll get it on this one. There we 
go. We got the proc where we wanted it. Excellent. I like it. I like it. And yeah, like I said, we'll have to figure out, you know, what um, what skills to use in between. What you know, what works best. Can I dodge that too. Yeah, nice. Okay, taking that proc. Probably even use a couple skills in between. All right, so we're, we're gonna wait for the six. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Not too shabby. Yeah, I'll just I'll have to get used to, you know, playing with like a playing with an obelisk for one, you know, just in general because I'm not used to there not being a uh, a, a timer up in the corner, just not. It's something I definitely have to get used to. Can we get him down here? Can we get him down here? Come on, take him down. There we go. Okay, 325. Um, yeah, 325 compared to you know cables 345 and 3. Uh, 38 but I mean you look at the build um, I have to imagine that cable will or, or, or gambit might even be faster you know we'll, we'll have to we'll have to you know build them both to the to the same level we'll have to give them both energies because it looks like you know they both will operate better with an energy right you know cables rotation is just gonna be real tight but you know he, he's gonna he's gonna operate better better with uh with an energy percent all attack i mean we could give him a debuff lead right <clears throat> you know enchantress um uh dr voodoo one of those guys right and see what he does white fox and all right so three six five so i mean yeah that, that's working out a little bit better of course but not what I thought it was going to be. I thought, I honestly, I legitimately, I thought he was going to one-shot. I thought he was going to one-shot. Does Moonstone one-shots? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking, I was thinking silly for saying that, that he was going to one-shot. I probably shouldn't have thought that, but I thought he was going to do a bit better. I actually haven't played regular world boss in a long time um, when I had less pierce on my cards. So, um... I guess I thought I had a, a, a much greater effect than it, than it actually does. Let's see. But yeah, remember playing this guy with a with a proc obelisk. So I mean, he's he's doing excellent, right? Not too shabby. We're just gonna ah. Uh, there we go. He's done. He's a done deal. L less less than a minute. Less than a minute. Um, you know, you could obviously give him better team up as well. He's got the, uh, I think it's 60% ignore defense on his, on his fifth. So let's go to, right? Yeah. Let, let's go to his skills. Yeah. So he's got yeah, 60% ignore defense on, on his fifth. I mean, you know, this guy, he's, he's, he's got a lot of, he's got, you know, was this 10% chance to penetrate? Why is it only 10%? I don't understand that. Um, he's got fracture for 10 seconds. He's got the paralyze, right? So that's going to be good for, um, for ABX. He's got, you know, eight, eight hits uh, on a guard hit, um, and then 30% increase to all attack. So he doesn't have invincibility though. He's got, he's got a stun. So yeah, it's one and two. I don't, I don't know how often you'll actually use those. And then, you know, this is pretty much, you know, par for the course along with every other Awakened skill in the game. All right, so you already know Sneaky Bandit got to come in here and do his thing, right? With the glasses on, of course. So the thumbnail read is Gambit better than Moonstone. Now, I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up 11 stages. 11 stages and here, let's, okay, let's not give her any support, right? We'll just do, we'll do like Moonstone lead and boom, boom. Okay. Well, she gets a little, a little energy attack. Okay. Whatever. All right. And we need some strikers. Okay. Can't use, can't use Deadpool there. All right. We'll use that. Here we go. And let's see. Okay. Now I know the build is, is worlds apart. It is, but, um, let, let's see exactly what she does here. Let's see what she does. You seeing this? You seeing this? So, 
I mean, that, 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 that's 10 bars in a clip. 10 bars in a clip. Um, and and that, that's all I'm going to show here. Um, Moonstone, I'm guessing, even Gambit with a maxed out build. I, I can't imagine. I can't see it. But I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take this guy to the top. I'm going I'm to I'm give him, I'll give him justice. I'll give him a good build. It might not be at the same level as Moonstone, but it'll be much closer. We'll level the playing field and we'll see exactly you know, what, like a Forge Energy, what, you know, maybe like a half a stack of Odin's Blessing and a fully awakened Ice to Wait set does for the guy, but <clears throat> I, I can't imagine that, that he's going to, he's going to take me from 40 to 45. I just, I can't see it right now. I really wish that was the case. Actually, I want to see if Deadpool got that tag. No, he didn't. I, I and Deadpool, I mean, did you see that damage um, in, in the last video? It, it, it was bad. It was bad business. So I'm thinking Deadpool, you know, may, maybe just a uh, a PvP character, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see once once we give him that build. All right. I had to sneak that in just because, you know, it was showing on the th on the thumbnail. We we got to do the comparison. So, yeah, 11 stages higher, and, th and that's a difference. All right. Back to your broadcasting. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, suggestions on where you want to see some of these characters being used or something I missed perhaps, let me know. Otherwise, you stay tuned, you stay breezy, and I'll see you in the next one, friend.